Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting re to episode 92 of My Hair Academia. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Taurus. <laughs> Oh, never mind. Right here. Uh huh. I mean, cause yeah, two young men are down. Oh my. I mean, it's great that he has to do this because you know, he has to do it with like literally almost every group that he's in, but yeah. So basically, it's very similar to, um, oh my, yeah, the voice changer thing from Detective Conan. Oh, so precious. And there it goes, too. Oh. 
Damn it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Gotcha. Hmm? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but then the question is, how the fuck are they gonna get, you know, Shinzo and what's his face out of the air prison, though? They're both stuck in there. Hmm? Baby. Oh fuck. No, Kona. The one I should do. Okay. Huh. I can't even get Shinzo out of the air person. I don't even know what the heck you could do. I don't even remember this shit. <laughs> Barely. Oh, hi, puppy. No, don't be. 
Honestly, you guys are all doing your best, even though, you know, out of the five, two of you got captured. Yeah. So don't blame yourself. You're doing awesome. No. There you go, pup. <laughs> yeah, because you know, took her slime and just, you know, took it all over themselves. Which is really gross, but nah, it's smart. Mm-hmm. Oh. I miss her. <laughs> so no matter what, he's always going to smell three, even though it's just one, though. Mm-hmm. Well, because they're going to at least stay close to him, right? Yeah, but see what her stuff, she can fill everything out. finally noticed.
Kenapa hisnya? Oh, <laughs> oh. damn it. be a distraction. <laughs> He's coming right towards him, right? Oh, no. You would think that would knock him the fuck out, but no. Training and talking to his own was so fucking worth it. I mean, still, 
Your girl would have liked to see all that ish, but I get it. Like, there's no time, but it would have been nice. Oh my god, this is so good. <laughs> like, oh, just that last little bit between Beast and Shinsuke. I was like, oh fuck. I was like, did they lose in this? I don't remember. But like, oh, that's so smart. Like, oh my god. Like, the fact is that, you know, even with Sue using her mucus and everything, like, very quick on her feet, um, Kaminati doing what he did, really, really good teamwork. And honestly, it makes me really excited to see how well Shinjo does with the other team when he has his next match and I'm guessing that's going to be four three four five episodes from now because since he's going to be on the sidelines and such for most of the time we're about to see everybody else and then I think eventually that's when we get into that situation for Deku I believe, because it's coming from what I remember in the trailer in ish, but mm. <laughs> I'm just not ready for that shit, because it's like, oh my god, like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> so I can't talk about it yet, but like, uh, Baby did a good job, and so it just makes you hopeful and like pray that like wherever he currently is in his storyline that he is doing a lot better than he is now. This is just, like, almost child's play for him. But wherever, like, chapter... I'm guessing y'all are on, like, chapter 300 and something um, for uh, the manga, but, like, whatever the fuck happened in that. I hope he's, like, really important. <laughs> Poor Aoyama. <laughs> Because, like, at the same time, as much as your girl would like to go ahead and find out where the fuck she last left off for this series, um, and to continue reading, I, I really don't want to do it. Because even, like, l like, let's go back two seasons ago, when we were on, like, season three. Knowing things, it is it's it hurts you, but then it also helps you at the same time. Because if it's been a long time since you've read something, like me, um rewatching a season even though you've already read the season when you know the manga's out and it's like that it just gives you a big old refresher so rewatching like this episode and the next episode of the next episode because like i said i don't know what chapter like and or episode the shigaraki part one is going to be because i'm guessing it's going to be like in the 20s and we're nowhere near that it's going to be like 100 and something um maybe like 115 i'm not 100 percent sure but wherever the hell it's going to be, that's where it's going to be like, oh, okay, fuck. I don't know what the hell is going on and ish. But at the same time, it hurts me because it's like, oh, I can go ahead and kind of start talking a little bit about this. But at the same time, I can't. I can only say so much without spoiling. And I don't even, for like, <laughs> for Tokoyami, I don't even remember what the fuck is. 
like honestly, if you were really, if you gave me like a million bucks to tell you what his new quirk, uh, what what his new ability is and such, I would literally look at you so dumbfounded because I would not remember. I'd be like, oh my god, like I would have to look that bitch up, and they'd be like, oh okay, now this is the reason why I can't tell you. But honestly, the one thing that I also love about rewatching like stuff from going from a book to this is a refresher it's really interesting because i'm like oh yeah like did that happen like that i don't remember because like i didn't remember that they won i thought i forgot it looked so bad i was thinking like for a moment i was like oh shit they're gonna lose they are really about to fucking lose but no like oh god this this whole battle was really interesting very smart and strategic on both counterparts but really more like a little bit smarter on class a and, and a plus shinzo so i mean like i said for shinzo i hope that whatever is going on with him currently in the current chapters it is good and that you know he still gets that time to shine just as much as he's getting it now because something kind of tells me that after this arc he doesn't really get that big enough uh, uh, that big enough screen time that he's getting as of right now because like as someone when we were re when we were watching like season three going on season four and you see him always around with Aizawa you know me and everybody else are freaking out to people who've read the manga like oh shit like it's coming and stuff and then to finally get to it it's just like oh my god it's finally fucking here like thank you Jesus Christ but it makes you wonder whatever the fuck is going on in like whatever chapter 300 or whatever that this series is on what the fuck is going on with certain characters and are they either better than they were before or just at the same like stage in their life more of like levels of battle and shit like that and what else has happened ish because I, I want to know but at the same time I don't <laughs> But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to episode 92 of My Hero Academia. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially on next Saturday for episode 93. Bye, guys.